Topo lived in small, windowless cages and roadside zoos for 20 years. Jackson was a pet whose owners couldn't handle him and turned him over to a troubled sanctuary. Herbie was rescued from living as a pet in a small shack made with chicken wire. Emma, Maggie, and Teely were performers at Marine World and exploited to perform in front of noisy crowds until they became too old. CJ was a pet that escaped from her neighborhood home when she became older. The past lives of these chimpanzees were awful. They were never intended to be pets or performers. Their former owners gave them poor treatment, sometimes out of ignorance, sometimes out of cruelty. What abused chimps need is a place of safety, a sanctuary. It's cold. Why don't you cover up with a blanket, huh? It's cold out here, huh? Enter Leslie Day of Tumalo. Welcome to Chimps, Inc., a sanctuary in every way for captive, exploited, and abused chimps. This is a sanctuary that love built. Ironically, it came about when Leslie Day was seeking a chimpanzee as a pet. It's partially embarrassing, but I like to tell my story because I think it can mean a lot to a lot of different people, but I wanted a chimpanzee for a pet. So I researched it and I was able to go to different places and see the adult chimpanzees and I eventually ended up in New York still looking for a baby chimp for a pet and I went to this third world trailer park where I found Topo. He was behind this expanded metal probably eight by eight foot never had seen been outdoors and the minute our eyes met I knew I needed to rescue the adults. Chimps Inc. is one of the top seven chimp sanctuaries in the nation. Leslie Day and her staff take care of eight chimps, five girls and three boys. Some of these chimps hadn't been outdoors in years. Some had never been around other chimps and all were raised as humans until their natural instincts took over. It's very hard for us to introduce chimps since CJ has been having a difficult time uh, learning how to act like a chimpanzee since she never had to act like one before. Caregiving for chimps also means teaching. Caregiving for chimps also means exercising, and it means communicating in a way that shows the chimp they are not only safe and cared for, but loved. I admire my staff so much. They're so intelligent. They're all just these amazing college graduates, highly educated, and here they are just living their passion to save animals. Chimps can be very dangerous. Safety training and precautions are a high priority at Chimps, Inc. You do have to be on your toes every day because they are so intelligent and they're strong and they're dangerous and they don't make good pets. It costs roughly $1,200 a month per chimp to keep them at Chimps, Inc., which is funded entirely by donations. Raising the money to keep the sanctuary going is tough. It's very difficult to raise that in a sanctuary because all real sanctuaries are private and we, can't, we aren't open to the public because we're trying to get them out of the public eye because that's what they've been in is the public eye. So we're trying to keep them safe and so it is difficult. The chimps often require medical treatment. Day hopes to one day have a vet clinic on site at Chimps, Inc., but that will require more fundraising. It is amazing to watch Leslie Day with her eight chimps. You can feel the personal connection she has to each and every one of them. You can see what the chimps get from living in this local sanctuary. But we wondered what Leslie Day gets in return. They give you something every day. They, they show you and somehow how much they appreciate what you're doing for them. And I just have never regretted it. It's just, it's a lot of hard work. It's, it's hard to raise funds. It's hard to find wonderful employees, which we do have, but they come and they go, you know? And I think I'm so comfortable with the chimps is because I'm here every day. 